Good evening guys, we are back to doing tutorials and tonight we have the time to do several lessons and I hope you like them. These are uh, intermediate to advanced Revit uh, lessons for you and hope you stay, keep following the videos. Thank you! Hi guys, tonight we will do some intermediate to advanced level Revit skills. By this time, if you have been following our videos, marunong na kayo ng basics. And maybe you, you have also uh, uh, advanced your knowledge by doing practices and self-studies. Tonight, we'll be doing uh, wall sweeps and wall reveal and in-place modeling. Tignan natin, under the toolbar wall, we have wall sweep. When you click wall sweep, kita nyo dyan that it is like um, an additional layer in your wall. Just click it. So by default, what I have is uh, core niche. Ano bang class itong core niche na to? Um, if we, let's try it here. Okay. Mugas na ba? Yan. Okay, click exit. So I can see that it's right there. So it's like a molding. What I have here is like a molding. If I click on edit type, makikita ko that the profile that I use is a shapes profile, C250 by 30. Do I have any option na loaded na? Um, I have default. Let's see default. The material is... Uh, I can select the material. Let's say... Select uh, stone and to render that. And okay. And apply and okay. So yung default ko na is that much. It's a bit weird for a for a for wall sweep. So, let me try to edit the type. So, yun ang by default natin na profile. Okay, isa pa. Let's have another wall speed. There. And let's do some verticals here. Click natin yung vertical. Skip na muna. Again, wall sweep. Let's do it vertically. Let's say yan. I have those wall sweeps. So there's your wall sweep. The basic of wall sweep. And let's do the wall reveal ano naman ang loaded na profile yeah, it's the default one let's take the one break course okay click apply and click ok yan may gimani pisto and uh, let's do it here let's do a horizontal So if I go to my front elevation, if I go to my front elevation, which, yeah, if I go to my east elevation and I put it to hidden line, makikita natin that I have already created this. Let me just remove the shadow for now. This wall reveal. And when you're in the elevation, it's easy to just copy them. If you select that and you say copy, pwede mo yung magawa. So just do like that. You copy and you select multiple. You can have many of those. You can have it. Um, let's do a little bit more of um, annotating. In the view tab we have this. Uh, ah, the call out. Detail natin. Na. Let's have a call out. Let's say the detail natin na. for our detail. Go to view. And pwede natin siyang detalye dito. 
see one other the dimensions you can put the dimensions right there you can put your dimensions there and of course your dimensions depends on the scale see you want it 20 to 25 that's better yeah, you can have those details sure okay guys i have to admit that what we did earlier is a big mess pangit ang kinalabasan tingnan nyo these wall sweeps are ridiculously big the reveal is not bad but we can do better so saan tayo nagkamali let's learn from our mistake so usually, the best practice, maglo-load muna tayo ng profile. Okay. So to do that, we'll have to go to our um, load family profiles. Let's go to the profiles. There, yan yung profile. Okay. So we have wall profiles. Nandyan. So we have this type, that type, those types. Alright. So, nandiyan na yung mga pagpipilihan natin. Para huwag tayo tumagal, let's just select all of it and load them all. Okay. Kami na tayong profile. Now, let's uh, go back and clean this up. Um, or we can just replace them, right? Okay. Let's select this um, wall sweep. So, cornish. Ngayon... What we can do is we edit it and uh, replace, no, sorry, select it and then edit the type, duplicate, let's name it Cornish 2 and now let's replace the profile. Yan na, nakaload na yung mga profile natin. Let's uh, use this, AFS. Eh na, ang lapat nga lang. It's like a mega, mega thing. Usually, this is for building parapets. For big ones. So that's how, how fast you can do it. Let's use this and do it with Cognis 2. Yeah. Lapat. Let's delete this. And let's move it a little bit like that. Yeah. Maybe we don't need this. Okay, so yeah, we do. Maganda naman naman ang dating, no? And I think this is another ridiculous profile that we did. No. It's a bit, you can say, respectable. Hindi natin dito sa gilid. Rosie. So what we do here, this is nothing because it's gonna have problem with the can't have a sweep on top of another. Okay. So select nothing and then we say add and remove walls. And we can just select this. And this to go around and select sort of go around the building don't worry merong error pa rin dyan do things perfectly so it goes around the building and let's add some more reveal naman architecture wall reveal now let's um, edit the type Let's duplicate so we can have another reveal. Okay, this reveal we can replace it with another uh, course, which is a three bricks course. Okay, it's malapad yan. So we can use it here. So if you like um, classical architecture, you're into classical architecture. These reveals and um, uh, and sweeps are very helpful for you. 
So let's have it uh, sheeted with another one. Let's see what I like. So there you go. And you even have a different material for your. And as I promised, we'll do another one, which is uh, um, in place modeling. You know, we'll give you another bonus. Um, this is uh, splitting walls, which is also helpful in um, when, when you are designing the facade or designing the interior of your um, of your building. Let's see how it works. Okay. So the tool that we'll be using is uh, right here. This is a modified tool. Not. This split elements. Okay, there are two split elements here. The other one is split with gap. Okay, we'll not be using this. We use it if we need to have a, a gap, but we don't need to have a gap right now. We just split it to cut an element. And then the element can have different materials. Let's try it. Let's go to uh, this part of our building. Yeah. Let's say um, let's we've selected this wall. And we decided that we want to split the element. We want to split it vertically. Yeah. It's right there. You have two elements already. So if, if you want to change the other element, um, let's split it here again. Split again this element. Let's split it here. Another one here. Yes. And then let's change, replace this walls into something else. Yeah, let's use the brick wall. So you just and since the brick thickness is different, makikita nyo na nagkaroon na siya ng meron tayong indenture. So interestingly, what happened is sumabay yung nandun sa likod, sumama yung um, pag-indent niya doon sa cornish. You might like it, you might not like it, then we can just modify it later on. So that's one tip that we just thought. So um, it it can it it is not just necessarily vertically. You can also split the element horizontally. Let's uh, do it again. Ito naman, ito naman tayo. Let's use this wall. Let's split it again. So what we can do is we select this and this. Select this middle part and use it as that 90 mm brick. Yeah, and it's not in. It's slowly shaping up to have some sort of a design. Okay? That's how you can use. Actually, when I was um, starting Rivet, uh, immediately I was excited to do in place mass. Kasi I heard na kapareho ito ng extrusion and modeling that we use in AutoCAD. You'll find out how it's done now. Okay. So, um, let's say we need to do uh, um, some sort of a balcony here or a terrace. And uh, to start that, let's extend this slab. Well, let's create another slab, which is a little bit lower than the than the main floor of the of your building. Let's go to your floor plan, ground level, and let's add a floor here. So let's go to architecture, floor. Height offset, let's have it minus 50. Minus 70. Yeah. Check. Yeah, and let's 
see how it looks okay so it's a little bit below your uh, finished floor no? Parang di pumasok yung tubig. and we will be having um, some nice uh, uh, columns here using our in-place model we actually have all those columns built in we don't have the families loaded now okay let's say if i click this what i have is a rectangular column and and, and the square column so i wanted to create something which is a little bit nice okay So let's go to our component and you say model in place. Yan, dito na tayo. First, you have to identify the category. Of course, we are in architecture. And we are trying to create a column. Uh, okay. Column 1. Okay, that's okay. Now you have these options. You have an extrusion. You can create a blend. You can create a revolve, you can create a sweep, and you can create a swept blend. Okay, then muna tayo sa pinakasimple, extrusion. So the extrusion, let's create, uh, let's say, an ellipse, an elliptical column right here. Yeah. Okay, elliptical column. About that. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll click check. So by default, nagkakaroon lang yan ng konting thickness. And then you can adjust it. So if you can see here, the extrusion start is at zero. That means zero level where you started your plane. And then the extrusion end is on how thick it is. So if we want it to be like 3 meters, put it at 3,000. Ayan na yung column natin. And then you just click check when you're done with the model. Of course, if you need another one, you can just mirror it. Select and then mirror. Draw an axis. Let's draw an axis at the middle of this. Going that way. Going anywhere actually. There you go. So meron na tayong dalawang kolo. So that's the very basic of uh, creating an extrusion in using model in place but of course we want to sh change the shape of your let's let's just edit the uh, slab a little bit edit boundary uh, and then start in radius And then let's have some railings. Okay, let's create some railings. I'd like to extend this a little bit. plan let's have a railing here at the ground level go to your architecture tab railing sketch pad tile we're just using the the default one 1100 so drawing ng tayo dito you can select these lines and just offset them so click select and click offset by 75 Of course, if you want to replace it using the pipe, you can very well do it. Okay. 
So what's still missing, we need to have a little bit of a roof here. Roof by extrusion, since we're, we've started doing modeling in place. Roof by extrusion is another way of doing roof which uses the extrusion tool. Okay, so now, pag sinelect mo yun, okay, it will ask you to select a plane in where you will start to draw. So what we will do is we'll pick a plane and we'll select this plane. Select this plane. Okay. Okay. Now, drawing na tayo niya. But it would be better to put your view in this view. Mas madali tayo mga pagdrawing. Now, we'll, we'll do a shape right here. Let's, let's do a spline. Yeah. Yeah. Click check. So you already have the, the thickness of the roof, which is 125. And we can replace it with the thick one, if you like. It could be 400 and then thick roof. And that's fine. And uh, the roof level can be higher. You can put an offset. Let's see. Now let's see how it looks in 3D if we did it correctly. Already in 3D. Yan. Ang problema niyan, it went back up to there. But it's not really a problem. You can easily work on that. Just select that. see this triangle you can pull it you can just simply pull it and you can finally decide on the ends of your on the end of your extrude extruded roof okay. and of course architecturally speaking if you want to align this to this you can just use the align tool this plane will align with this plane there you go. And that is and that is your nice looking terrace. And you pumo por mana your house that so that's been our uh, quick lesson, quick tutorial for tonight. Thank you for uh, watching the video. I hope you learned something and I hope you keep learning and please follow our videos, follow our tutorials and please um, don't hesitate to comment on some lessons that you want us to discuss. It really matters and it really um, helps us to determine what our what you need to know as uh, beginners in, in learning Revit. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat po. And I hope you stay safe. And God bless us all.